When people would ask me what I talk about on my YouTube channel or on my website or blog, I'd always respond with natural living. And the follow-up question would always inevitably be, what's that? For a while, I found it hard to explain exactly what that meant, as I wasn't exactly sure myself. It encompassed an array of things for me, but over time, as I became more and more engrossed in a life without chemicals, and moving towards one that worked more with the planet and sustainability, it became a little clearer to explain. So I thought I'd share a little about what natural living means to me and how I do my best to live a natural life on a day-to-day -day basis. My life over the past eight years has been one of many changes and learning curves, many mistakes and trials and failures, but it has also been some of the best experiences too. The path on which I'm on now with living a natural, quiet, simple, nature-focused life started when I decided to go vegan back in 2016. Before then, I did have an interest in health and nutrition, but it was merely a side focus, something I dabbled in but only knew a little about. This interest really grew into a full-blown passion after I made the decision to go vegan, as I wanted to transition to veganism properly and not end up with a range of nutritional deficiencies from rushing into it. I began looking at what foods I needed to eat more of to receive the nutrients I needed and what supplements I had to have to avoid malnutrition, but as I researched this, I became really fascinated by how food can either help or hinder the human body. I discovered the amazing healing power of the diet and this led me down a rabbit hole into the world of holistic health and nutrition. At the time I was also starting to learn how many toxins are in our everyday products like skincare, hair care, cleaners, almost everything really. So I started making my own alternatives, beginning with the items in my bathroom. I swapped out my skincare products for homemade versions and started making my own shampoo, body wash, toothpaste and hair serums. After I managed to swap out all of my bathroom products, I moved to the kitchen. My goal was to eliminate as many unnecessary toxins in my life to help reduce the toxin load on my body and give my liver a bit of a break, as I learnt I had a weakness in my liver which causes my body to struggle to detox properly. Around this time, I was also learning about the horrible impact of plastic on both our health and the planet, so I was trying to eliminate as much single-use plastic in my life as possible, and making a lot of my own meals and products helped with this. I started shopping at bulk food stores and farmers markets and took an interest in how my food was grown and what was used to grow it by local farmers around my area. I was able to live completely plastic free for a year and a half until I started including animal products back into my diet. A lot of the yogurts, milks, cheeses and other dairy products come packaged in plastic so I'm constantly looking for suppliers who package their products in glass containers or bottles which is really challenging to come by. When it comes to meat, I bring my own containers and ask the butcher to place whatever I buy in them, so it's been much easier to avoid plastic this way. Since moving up the coast two years ago, I haven't owned a car, which has been one of the most challenging transitions I've had to make thus far. I didn't realise how much I relied on cars for getting to and from places. Having a bike as my main form of transportation has been a huge adjustment, and I've found it to be very frustrating at times but I've learnt to work with what I have. Biking has taught me to slow down a lot, admire what's around me, and be more prepared in getting where I need to go. I often pre-plan trips ahead of time and allow for more time to get to my destination, which has helped me to stop rushing from place to place and take it a little slower pace. I look at riding as a way to help reduce my overall footprint on the planet. When I do have the privilege of driving, say when I visit my family back home or carpool, I look at it as exactly that, a privilege and something I no longer take for granted. What I've learned over the years, and what I've come to define natural living as, is a way of life that is toxic free, sustainable and organic. Natural living to me is having an awareness of the environment around us, and working with nature to live more harmoniously together. I by no means am perfect, far from it actually but I do my best to live more consciously and make mindful choices when it comes to food, products, clothing, transport, waste, and how I live my life on a day-to-day -day basis. 
I hope you enjoyed my little spiel on what natural living means to me. Let me know if you follow a simple, quiet, natural or sustainable lifestyle also. I'd love to know. I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you soon again.